In this video I'm going to take a look at flat roof construction and in particular warm deck construction. So in flat roofs we have a warm deck and a cold deck uh, type construction. The warm deck has got the insulation placed closest to the outside and then the cold deck would have this area here that I'm showing would be filled with insulation and there would have to be ventilation provided above this area here and in the warm deck there's no vent placed in at the at the uh, soffit. Now in the warm deck you wouldn't have that there the whole way across uh, in this drawing I'm just showing here you could also possibly have the likes of uh, cav service cavity on this here which would allow for the uh, breather membrane uh, to be placed in between um, the open space of the bottom of the ceiling joist there. Uh, so I'll come back to that there but uh, moving on from that uh, we've got a few other things here like vapor control here, a layer which is placed on top of the decking before the insulation will go on top of that there. So you've got chosen this diagram as 25mm decking and uh, it could more than likely be 18mm plywood or OSB board that we placed down there as opposed to maybe 25mm. So I'm just drawing a, a line showing where that vapor control layer would be. Best type of vapor control that there will be the, the silver backed with uh, an adhesive uh, that's placed on the silver itself and uh, then possibly if you wanted to be able to walk in this roof structure uh, the covering alone wouldn't probably be enough so the, there could potentially be another piece of decking placed on top of that insulation and then you could have the roof covering depending on what, what type of roof covering that you're putting on that there a rubberized or bitumen or whatever type of weatherproof and covering that you want to place on the top of it. So the decking might be placed there again on the top just to allow for access. You could have maybe uh, something you could walk out onto the top of the of the roof covering here. So it shows 100 mil insulation. I think that meets the regulations as they currently stand, but that could change. You've got step DPC up here. Uh, you've got the cavity closer or the barrier. Uh, something that you wouldn't have is where it shows a right angle where it joins over on the right hand side here. I'm just going to remove the insulation here to show what it would be like with the uh, warm deck construction so you don't have that. But there is an area where there could potentially be a cold bridge and the possibility of condensation forming on the inside of the fascia. You'd have air transferring up through there, moist air moist laden there and there'd be no insulation between it and the outside and there's a potential risk here where I'm showing of condensation occurring just like it would occur, occur maybe on a single glazed one door or something like that. So there should be a little bit of insulation placed from there to the inside of the uh, internal wall to accommodate that there to stop that stop the thermal bridge and it would actually continue on up there and I've left it blank at the firm piece but it would actually go right up to that there I'll complete it in the actual drawing and I'm showing just that you could put in a, a, an air tightness membrane here underneath the plaster slab that will be there. So we're just going to start off by drawing a cavity wall. I'm going to run with a 150mm cavity as opposed to a 200 And uh, well, these things would have been discussed in some of the other videos that I've done. I'm going to pick a span from the internal of that wall to the next wall that I want to draw the uh, flat roof on. Of something like two two meters because it'll fit easily on this page here and we're drawn to scale of one is to ten I've measured up a height of 67 millimeters here with the wall that I have you can see there's 200 so that's two meters on scale of one is to ten and uh, that'll allow me putting in the, the 67 millimeters allow me to put in at least three blocks in height I'm just going to project up a cavity wall there again with the same uh, cavity 150 cavity put a wall plate at the top of the internal wall on the left hand side here and allow for the insulation as well and that line that I've drawn in heavy there will be the underside of the ceiling joist which could be actually extended on out I'll do that in a second and I'm going to stick in these blocks here so going with a 225mm in height that's allowing for the joint and everything and put in a cavity tie showing the insulation being held in as well. So taken from here 
uh, we've put in the height of uh, ceiling joist in the textbooks sometimes you'll see 200 used but a standard will probably be a 9 inch which is 225 millimeters I'm extending it 100 millimeters out past the uh, exterior wall exterior exterior wall and um, that is the joist drawn out to 100 mil over the edge of the cavity wall on the outside and now what I'm doing here is I'm measuring the 1 is to 40 angle which I've measured over 200 and uh, I've measured up 5 to give me the 1 in 40 and I've put it 50 millimeter up stand at the end and I'm putting the decking on here I've drawn in with the blue pen my uh, vapor barrier I've drawn 100 mil insulation and I put another piece of decking on the top there. And it, the only big problems it has had with any of these um, warm deck roofs really seems to be from the depth that they actually come to. So I've done putting on I've put on a second fascia to kind of break up the overall size of the front of that and the, the little batten that's at the end, which allows for the roof covering to come out over and down into the gutter that you see here. I've drawn the right angle, which I shouldn't have drawn, because the roof covering would perish at the corner, so there should be a fillet put into there, and I'll change that in a few minutes. But as I mentioned, the only major problem that is had with the warm deck construction is the depth of the roof itself, especially when it comes to repairs of old buildings. And uh, the the but at the, at the same time, it's a, a far superior uh, finish to have on a flat roof as opposed to the cold deck. And you can see I've drawn in the fillet there. I've drawn in my flashing on the different colors to show the drape flashing coming down. And uh, the upstand of 150 millimeters. And I've got my step DPC as well. So just important details with the wall plate as well, where it joins the wall. Could be joist hangers used on that as well. I'm actually gonna put on and insulated slab to the inside of the wall as well. So we have 150 mils of insulation in total. I'm just going to shade in where we have our insulation here. You can see this time I'm going right to the very top as opposed to the sketch that was in the textbook. And a small detail there of if it been notched, a, a batten that's notched with the ceiling joist. And we've covered an awful lot of details here. This uh, cavity barrier, just sticking in the detail for the insulation. I've omitted putting in any kind of a service cavity here, and you could put in a, a, a coloured line showing the breather membrane to the ceiling area. And this insulation is placed out close to underneath the soffit. Its main function here again is to prevent any cold bridging. And if cold bridging was to occur there, you'd have problems with uh, condensation. Now I'm going to stick in a link on the video here to uh, another YouTube channel which uh, shows in great detail uh, how a warm deck construction is completed and it's well worth a watch if uh, you want to kind of see it in practice and as always make sure that you put in the elements there's way more elements than probably what you would need for an examination and uh, I'm just showing the size here for the front of the fascia just to kind of highlight the kind of depth of it and um, the important thing is to make sure that you put them all in that you you can think of probably somewhere between 12 and 14 elements would get you away with uh, enough for the examination but when you're doing this drawing at home and you're practicing it's no harm to go through all the different details because uh, you have a, gives you a better understanding of everything that's involved in it. You can always slow down this video at a slower pace just to see the drawn details on it. And of course the completed drawn will be on my webpage under the drawn tab for construction studies in a PDF form so you'll be able to take a look at that closer and it's completed state.